Welcome to Matthews Arena tonight. Hockey East action, the Merrimack Warriors and the Northeastern Huskies. Rob Rudnick, Bill Doherty, Dan Weiss with the call of the game. And the Huskies tied Merrimack last night, played a real good game up in North Andover. Northeastern now 1-4 and 2. Carter Madsden will take the face off with Justin Daniels. And the puck dropped by one of tonight's referees, Ryan Sweeney. Second year officiating in hockey. East to the veteran, Jeff Bunyan, will be the other ref tonight. Not easy to beat either one of these goaltenders with conventional 25 plus foot shots. Here's a two on one, and McLaughlin scores, and the Huskies lead one to nothing. Yeah, what a pretty pass by freshman Joe Mano, who hit Mike McLaughlin, the Husky captain, right on the tape. And Kanata had to make a decision which guy to cover at that point. Look at this beautiful pass right on the forehand. You won't see a better one all season long in as many replays as you want to watch. That's as, that's as uh, room service as, as it's going to get. Here comes Mike McLaughlin with Mano and Dungara. To Dungara, ship, shot, score! It's two to nothing, Northeastern. Rob Dungara, the sophomore, his first of the year. Yeah, you just saw one of the fastest players in Hockey East absolutely shot out of a cannon in the person of Robbie Dungara. He had to catch up with the play after McLaughlin broke free. And watch this speed as McLaughlin just takes a little bit off the fastball. What a perfect feed to Robbie Dungara. Goes to the backhand. Absolutely defenseless was Joe Canada as he was on the first goal. And Northeastern's got the place rocking with an early 2 0 lead. Collins. Stolery back to Collins. Score. Well, we've seen him take that shot already on the power play. And that time it was perfect. Just inside the goal post to the right of Chris Rawlings. A power play goal, and it is 2 to 1 Northeastern. Yeah, plenty of screening done in front of Rawlings to make that puck pretty much invisible for Collins. And he just waited and waited and shot it right through a number of wickets behind Rawlings. I don't think Chris ever saw that puck. Sapaneri checked against the boards by Dean. Now a head shot, tip, save, loose puck in the crease. They blew the whistle, the net may have moved, although the puck was loose the entire time. All right, the head, head sets off and they figure something out here. Back to the ice, I think it's gonna stand 2-1. Much ado about nothing. Manson, who was tossed out in the first period. They've been playing with five defensemen since. Collins, Flanagan save, and Todd had a chance on the backhand. Collins. He's really the quarterback of this thing. He shoots and scores, and he has been so dangerous and tough on the Huskies this year. Mike Collins scores for the Warriors to tie the game at two. Husky's going to have a power play at the beginning of the overtime. And uh, Joe Mano with a hit after. I don't know if he's going to go out two here. Maybe just the one, and that looks like it is going to be it. One second to go, 1.7 to be exact. Boy, Mark Dennehy has been very calm behind the Merrimack <laughs> bench tonight as he's watched much, all that's taken place. Much more than we would expect. <laughs> the Merrimack center dove down on the puck and he may be hurt he may have taken a stick inadvertently right underneath the chin by Braden Pym I think that was a, a an accident well we're going to go to overtime all right big chance for Northeastern to get the first couple of minutes of this OT with a man advantage they go in the box. Eibler just misses glove side. Right idea. Eibler calls for the puck again. 
fans on the shot. Fly trying to get it to Flanagan. Short-handed breakaway. He scores, and Merrimack wins in overtime. What a nice wedge pass to send Flanagan off to the races by Fly. That was pretty. So Merrimack stays unbeaten. They're 7-0-1 on the year, 5-0-1 in the league. Northeastern is now 1-5-2 overall, and that's also their league record since all Northeastern games have been against Hockey East opponents. Yeah, a tough pill to swallow tonight for Jim Madigan and company. They played exceptionally well again. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, you got to capitalize on those five-minute penalties and another gift one to start the overtime off that they couldn't capitalize on. For Ben Weiss, Bill Doherty, Amrob Rudnick. Final score, Merrimack 3, Northeastern 2 in overtime. Good night from Matthews Arena.